Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mitch. Good Monday morning to you all. Hope you guys are doing well and uh, having a fantastic start to your day and feeling great out there on this beautiful, glorious Monday. I got you an update on what's going to happen weather-wise for today to get you guys going for your day. Uh, not a very active day, really not an active week compared to the last few weeks. Things could change and they will change, but will they change for the worst? Not sure, but I can tell you tomorrow is already upgraded to a slight risk for areas of the southern Appalachian Mountains, uh, eastern Kentucky, southwest Virginia, areas of North Carolina and northeast Tennessee. But we'll see how that changes. Does it downgrade? Does it upgrade? But for now, you got a slight risk for tomorrow. But we're here to talk about today. Uh, we do have a area we need to watch, southern Missouri, northern Arkansas, for some strong to severe storms. And we'll break that down for you and everybody else, too, and then get you guys on your way. If you folks have not subscribed, certainly consider doing that. Like the video if you like it. And if you guys got anything that I can pray about or pray over, as always, please put it in the comments below so I can pray over it. And so others can do so, too. Another quick reminder. And I'll try to remind you guys every video between now and then I am going on vacation. It's not really necessarily a vacation. It's more of just a chill vacation, I guess you would say. Nothing compared to like when I go to Gatlinburg in the fall and stuff like that. But going to Helen, Georgia, leaving Thursday night. So Thursday morning will be my last video until Sunday evening. So just want to make you guys aware of that. But with that being said, Let's get rolling and talk about some weather here. Water vapor loop, the same kind of look as what I showed you guys last night and yesterday morning. If you've been tuning in, uh, you got a surge of moisture that continues uh, to move in and it's being influenced by this high pressure right over the south. And as you can tell, the motion moves in from the south and then moves in from the southwest and the west. And then it goes back down to the southeast and then goes to back down to the south which means it's coming out the north so i would say northerly winds northwest winds more so north winds you get what i'm saying northeast winds you just basically got a flow like this rounding off out here and then we still got ridging in canada this is preventing really any weather from getting up into like northern minnesota canada uh, north dakota uh, the up of michigan so it's like everything keeps getting flattened out here in southern minnesota and iowa but uh, this is kind of what's going on this is the flow out here we'll watch a short wave in this area right here that will pop off some strong to severe thunderstorms in northern arkansas southern missouri a little bit later today but other areas could see showers and storms too and we'll talk about that but what's going on out there on the surface this is a new thing that i've been showing uh, weathertap.com um, was nice enough to let me test out a free subscription with them guys and I actually love this uh, it's pretty awesome you can zoom in and out and it shows all the cities very well the states but you can actually see the flow very well it's in motion right now you all this rain is moving in from the south it's moving north and then it begins to kind of inch its way very weak flow a lot but it begins to inch its way more so from the west to the east and then you've got all of this rain right over here and southern Ohio, moving, in, moving into West Virginia, Virginia, that's moving in from the northwest and moving southeast. Even got some showers into the Carolinas. So you see this flow in general. It's wrapping around this area of high pressure in the south. So pretty cool to see. And then we got a cold front that we're watching up here in Canada. This is dropping the temperatures dramatically up here and uh, eastern canada and this will actually drop them pretty dramatically into the northeast too and we talked about that last night's video we'll talk about it again a little bit in this video but uh plume of rain this is the time of the year guys it's it's may it's may 15th they begin to drop outlooks on the national hurricane center beginning today uh tropics is a very interesting topic it's not it's not as fun to talk about as winter um, winter weather for you guys, for you folks that know, is certainly my favorite type of weather. But uh, I enjoy talking about the tropics too. So we're about to enter. It's a it's a slow approach into the heart of hurricane season, right? You know, it's very slow throughout the summer. Then things escalate very quickly as you get into late late August and then into September. But thankfully, we're nothing to worry about as of now. I'm not seeing anything to worry about. But this is the time of the year where we watch pieces of energy that gets into the Gulf of Mexico. And then sometimes these complex of storms can actually form into a tropical system, but nothing to worry about that right now. 
marginal risk this goes from area very small section of southeast kansas northeast oklahoma all of southern missouri basically all the northern counties of northern arkansas and then even in portions of far southern illinois western tennessee and kentucky the biggest threat today if there is a big threat you would call it winds five percent chance of winds pushing 50 knots or higher it's around 55 to 60 miles per hour and then hail threat you got a five percent chance of one inch hail in this region in southern uh, missouri so we'll certainly watch for any hefty thunderstorms today we got kind of a bimodal mode out here if you will of a slight risk that is at least a 15 percent risk of flash flood guidance being met so we'll watch for some of these storms to kind of move over the same areas and you know just always be aware of any flash flooding luckily i haven't heard of any flooding like flash flooding out here from all this rain that we've gotten in southern texas uh, so we've been lucky about that because you know some of you folks have picked up a lot of rain over the last few days so luckily no crazy videos I've seen at least come out of anything too wild out there as far as streets flooding things like that but I'm sure there's been local areas that have the southeast today um, we'll get this going in motion we'll go throughout the morning hours if you're ever confused about the time frame I always try to mention it but this is an eastern time so 12 p.m. 11 a.m. if you know if you're in Alabama points east Tennessee but you get this in motion out here and we'll watch some showers maybe some storm action that gets going here um, in the mountains of north carolina virginia and tennessee i think there'll be a little bit more widespread in tennessee northern alabama today and then we'll just have some uh, showers and storms deep moisture down here along the gulf coast in louisiana uh, southern Missouri, southern Mississippi, and the Panhandle, Florida. So, of course, we're just going to get some pop-up showers and storms. Some of these could be strong and severe. You can't roll it out. It's more of just a typical summer flow out here. You'll get these storms that pop off really anywhere in Tennessee, you know, Alabama, Mississippi today. And uh, some of them can produce a lot of rain, strong, uh, you know, some significant severe weather is always possible with these. But in general, we're not expecting any crazy weather in this region. Just some typical afternoon, summer-type shower and storm activity. But this is the area we watch today. A little short wave moves through, a little low pressure, very weak. Short wave meaning it's basically a piece of energy that flies through a boundary. Boundary is like is like a road network for these pieces of energy to, to kind of ride along, if you will, if that makes any sense. But... We'll talk about this area here in a second for some strong to severe storms. But some showers could drift through North Carolina. We'll keep this going. But just like with any afternoon showers and storms, once you lose the daytime heating, everything just kind of diminishes and it's done. But we could be dealing with some overnight showers just in upstate South Carolina, areas of North Carolina, a little bit later overnight tonight. And then we'll be waking up tomorrow morning to maybe some storms somewhere in Kentucky. We'll certainly watch maybe Western Virginia. Um, the northeast today, quiet weather, nice weather. But look at this rain coming in on the top of your screen. That is our sharp cold front Monday afternoon. Well, today, this afternoon, rain begins to move into northern Maine this afternoon around, uh, you know, 4 to 6 p.m. This sweeps through. It could be accompanied by maybe a line of heavy rain. But it's kind of just coming in straight out the north. And then by the time we get into 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning, you're waking up to more widespread rains in central to northern Maine, and this is accompanied by a pretty sharp cold front that will dramatically change the weather for a day or two, and then eventually it'll move out and ridging will move back in. But we're watching this cold front. The temperatures really drop behind it, that's for sure. The south central U.S., dealing with more rain it's another rainy morning here um, to start off your monday morning out here rain in areas of central kansas oklahoma and some of the some of these areas will just deal with the rain most of the day especially in kind of eastern kansas you know central and eastern oklahoma and then we'll watch this area of storms associated with a, a little piece of energy uh, move in you see the little kink in the iso bars that tells us that th there's a piece of energy here a little short wave is a, is, a, is a kind of a kink in the ridge, if you will. And that kink is basically uh, basically a piece of energy that when you get to the daytime heating of the day, it kind of exposes itself. 
in the form of showers and storms, if that makes any sense. But we'll stop it here. This is around 3 p.m. this afternoon. Uh, you, you got the rejuvenation of more tropical downpour, showers and storms. That's why you still have an ongoing flash flooding risk down here. You know, basically anywhere in southern Texas, southeast Texas, along the coastline, stand the risk of some downpours, heavy rain. Some of these storms could be strong and severe. And but we're still really watching this. This will be the area to, to watch and we'll zoom into that area here in a second. But these will kind of be outflow boundary driven, meaning they'll pop off and then the outflow will probably jump all the way up into central Texas and then spark more storm development. But then the, these will diminish overnight too. But let's take a closer look at kind of Missouri and uh, let's go to this Missouri and Arkansas. So storms will begin to enter the picture, I think, and develop right around Joplin, Missouri, just after lunchtime today. Um, you know, as you can tell, it's pretty clear in this region and throughout the morning hours, early afternoon. This tells me that the atmosphere is going to destabilize. These continue Springfield, Missouri. The weather could get dicey uh, maybe around 2, 3, or 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas, same deal. The storms could certainly be more widespread than what they're showing on this model run in northern Arkansas. But you got some storms popping off here in western Tennessee, um, areas of the Boot Hill, Missouri. These storms are just cruising across the southern counties of Missouri along the Ozark Plateau, Mountain Grove, Houston, Mountain View, West Plains. Storm, a very stormy. I think you guys will have a very stormy late afternoon or definitely evening for you folks. And then I think these it'll get quite stormy along the uh, Poplar Bluff area, Piedmont regions as you get into lunchtime. I'm sorry, into the, your dinner time this evening. Uh, please watch out. You could have some areas that might have some larger hail than maybe what we're thinking right now. So especially if any of these storms kind of get discreet and you have like an individual supercell or two. So just be aware of some storms in this region up here today they could eventually even get into the western kentucky western tennessee area as we get into after midnight tonight as you can see a cluster of showers and storms they might be more they might be stronger than what they're showing still they might be weaker we'll see what happens uh, but rainfall for the south central u.s the most rain i think will fall where the worst severe weather could be today and I say worse, guys, but it's not going to be a terrible day of severe weather in southern Missouri by any means. So please don't freak out or anything like that. It's honestly more so just like a summer type pattern. But a couple inches of rain is possible in certain areas in southern Missouri. Uh, same deal kind of along the southeast coastline, especially cl closer to the Corpus Christi area. A lot of rain could fall, but you see how splotchy in nature it is. That's just for me screaming that this is going to be pop up in nature. You can actually tell... <laughs> Uh, where the center of high pressure is right here over northern Louisiana, southern Arkansas, where no rain is expected. Right when you're under the direct influence of high pressure, you have sinking air. Rising air is what causes storm development, rain development. Sinking air does not. And if you're directly under that high pressure, you're not going to get any flow. You're not going to get any storm development. And that's why you don't see anything in this region right into here. The north central U.S. today... Uh, dealing with the leftover just energy from overnight and yesterday so you're dealing with some showers this morning in areas of far 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 eastern kansas you'll continue to deal with showers this will actually be rain cooled air too a, a chilly rain in southern iowa and northern missouri today and this will kind of cruise and make its way into western illinois and then it'll diminish for the most part but everybody else north of all this remember Canadian high is really just um, influencing the weather and has been been keeping y'all's weather pretty chill up here. Saved y'all has been saving y'all from all the nasty weather to your south and it'll be another nice day today. But we're watching this cold front cruising in from the north if you see it. So cross over Lake Superior and I think that we'll wake up tomorrow morning to some showers knocking on your doorstep in the UP of Michigan to your north. Showers here in the Midwest and Ohio Valley waking up tomorrow morning. But outside of that, pretty chill weather, guys. Temperatures uh, will be quite nice. You see this pocket of rain-cooled air in the 50s. This will be the only area that just has kind of rainy, cooler conditions. But you might as well enjoy it because the heat of summer is uh, knocking on everybody's doorstep for sure. Uh, but warmer up here, uh, you know, International Falls, Minnesota might hit 80 degrees a day, widespread 70s in kind of the north-central U.S., the, the 
the Great Lakes region, Ohio Valley, 70s, a nice day in the northeast before a sharp cold front drops your temperatures beginning tomorrow. So enjoy the weather. A little bit nippy next couple of days coming up. But it'll feel downright like summer in Mississippi, um, Alabama, Louisiana, Arkansas, areas of Tennessee, where um, you're right under the influence of that ridge of high pressure to the south. So you'll have moist air, very warm air. Same thing with uh, Florida, very warm, especially in the western areas of the UP. I'm sorry, the UP, the um, peninsula of Florida. Certain areas around Tampa Bay really need the rain. And if you go back and you know, look at the rain chances today in Florida. They look pretty low. So, uh, you know, you're going to have, and this is getting into tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think more areas of the southeast has a chance of more widespread rain. So hopefully you guys, I'm here in Tampa Bay, has not gotten a lot of rain yet at all this year. So hopefully you guys can get some rain. But well, watching this cold front this is going to be pretty sharp. But certainly watching tomorrow, and I'm going to do this on the fly really quick because I didn't have it pulled up. Tomorrow you do have a slight risk of severe storms in this region right here. You know, northeast Tennessee, um, areas of a very small section of north, northwest North Carolina like Boone, Banner Elk, western areas of Virginia, and a large portion of southeast Kentucky stand a chance of some severe storms tomorrow. There's a 2% risk of a tornado. So it um, looks like the marginal risk has actually shrunk as far as how east it was looking it was going to be. But anyways, this could change the next updates or two. So that's all I got, guys. Y'all have a great day. Make it a great Monday. Um, stay positive. Um, put a smile on somebody's face and uh, just be a light today. God bless all y'all. Have a great day. And I should have a video this evening. I don't see why I wouldn't. But, you know, it's just it's a slower period. But um I still am probably going to drop a video just to give you guys an update on what could happen tomorrow because there's a lot of, I know I got a lot of viewers in this region of the country and I want to keep you guys aware. God bless all y'all. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.